Hello, I'm Vikingur Olofsson and I'm thrilled to be coming to Cleveland to play with the legendary orchestra in Franz Welsemerstadt Severin's Music Center in March. I'll be playing Ravel's Piano Concerto in G major and music doesn't get much better than that. One of the first recordings that I heard of the Ravel Piano Concerto in G Major was actually with the Cleveland Orchestra and Pierre Boulas conducting Christian Zimmermann playing the piano part. And, you know, this is a concerto like no other concerto. It's certainly a great and grand piano concerto. The piano has center place throughout, but it's also incredible concerto for different members of the orchestra. It's like a concerto for orchestra. And you know, where to start? You have this legendary bassoon part. You have incredible hovering high horn solo in the first moment. The harp, you know, takes elements from sort of orientalism and really it takes us to a different world. You have the piccolo opening the piece and the normal flute just sort of singing its way through. It's such a fantasy and you can't forget the cor anglais which has the touching and sort of heartbreaking solo in the second part of the second movement. Uh, and you know, Ravel wrote that this melody, this beautiful second moment melody, almost killed him, this flowing phrase. I love to think of that because when you play it, it feels like Mozart, so effortless. And I sometimes think if Mozart had been alive in the year of 1931, when this piece was written, he might just have written something a little bit like this concerto. It's so transparent, it's so incredibly orchestrated, everything is heard in just the right balance and proportion. And so those are just a few of the reasons why I love to play this piece. You know, it takes Basque folk music, so folk music from Spain. It certainly flirts with Viennese waltzes in the second moment. It has this element of Parisian salons as well, Orientalism, and we certainly go to America. He's having fun with jazzy and ragtime harmonies all the time. It's always interesting to come to a place for the very first time where you feel like you've been before. Severance Music Center has that quality because of the orchestra and how far the orchestra has traveled through its legendary recordings, audio and video. Um, of course, everyone loves to talk and rave about this place and now I know exactly why. Um, it's incredible to just come to in my dressing room today and there, there's a picture of Igor Stravinsky signed and then on the wall outside there is Glenn Gould who's uh, written something very beautiful about his recording experience with his orchestra in 1960. On we could go. It, it's a place that has incredible heritage but it also is a place that feels incomplete renewal. So those are my impressions today. I'm really looking forward to experiencing on stage the legendary sound culture of this orchestra. It strikes me so brilliant but so incredibly warm at the same time, so chamber music and so grand. So it's a place where everything seems to come together and it's always such a thrill to play for the first time with such an orchestra. There aren't many in the world in this category, so I'm really looking forward.